So, hi everybody and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 110 and in this video we learn a little bit design. And what I mean with design is we learn something called Merge Actors, but we need this um, tool Merge Actors for designing purposes. And let me get started what I mean and what I'm going to try in this video. First of all, I have this rock here, you see this one, and I want to create a cave. And when we look here back, this is already what I tried to create with one rock. I all time duplicated it, put it a little bit high, duplicated it high, and we have many, many rocks. This is a cave now, anyhow, a little one. And but we have here many, 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 many rocks. And we can see that here on the right side on my outliner. Uh, it starts here with this rock and it goes down to this place anywhere. You can see it's too much, right? This uh, just too much. And with nanite, it's actually not too much. That would not uh, be a problem. But still, we want make this a little bit better the performance and to make it better we can merge now this whole little ones to one static mesh so we have then only one static mesh of course there is the we have then no more the option for example change parts of it because we all thing merged all together but uh, we have only keep uh, in mind that the end result should be merged to a static mesh and the static mesh will be anyways saved anywhere in your folder so and uh, before we go there to create now this merging thing i want to show you the reason why this is good so first of all it is good it gives performance boost which means here we have many many parts which means calls uh many has many draw calls it's so something called for designer they know what this means draw calls means it it gets a little uh, it gets a little bit <laughs> from your performance let's call it so we dive not too deep in this kind of stuff right now and we want get rid of this so we merge this all together and then it has only one draw call or less draw call it's a little bit faster than all to call this many many things so with that said let me go here to this official website and this is again unreal engine 5 documentation then you go here to merge actors and here you can read that what i said they are merging actors for uh, draw calls and a little bit optimization per purposes and this uh, site you can read i will not go through this one i go only through a little bit which is important here in our case to create this cave and yeah this one i will link again in the description this site so you can read the uh, official documentation and let's continue so here i want to create still my cave i have created here and uh what i want to do is later uh, creating a cave for example um normally would not create it like me for example you have already static meshes for a cave message or you have any how imported meshes which looks very nice but in our case as a beginner you can of course use like what i did just uh, alt and then drag it out and it uh, duplicates automatically this one and now i have two oops sorry and then we can uh, try to merge this and uh, how i'm merging this one here so first of all you select i'm not going to merge this one later this one but here i select this stone then i select this stone and now i have selected the uh, um, static meshes which i want merge then i go here on top to tools and in tools i have here this merge actor so here are some options here it says merge actor on the right side and here are the settings and these settings uh, you can read like i said in the documentation they are describing all that a little bit more and when you click now here merge actors 
I click now and they ask you where you want to save it. And let's save it here or later you could save it on the place where you want. I call it static mesh merged actor. Merged actor one. So and now I have merged them. I can go to this content and you see I have already merged a little bit before. I have merged now this one. And now let's save this all. And now I can just drag and drop this one in the out and I have this merged actor. The question is why you want to make this in that is a very important thing. For example, like you are creating this cave what I created here. I created a similar like before I dragged it and now I have many, 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 many parts. And I want to use this cave perhaps another place or in another project. So what I do, I go here to, first of all, I delete all the other things what I have here. So I have no other static meshes on. So now this static meshes, I select, go down, 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 down to the last static mesh shift. Now I have all selected. Then I go here to the tools and then I go again to merge. Where is this uh, here? And then uh, here is one important thing, which is not by default active. And what is that? This value is not by default active. So let's merge this without this one and see what it means. So I go and merge this one. I call this here static mesh cave cave one or something let's call it cave two and now this one is creating my cave two static mesh and when i drag this out you see where's my cave two this one here i drag it out and now i have only one mesh and i can pl place it anywhere that's very powerful now because now i can make a game where i have caves and in these caves, I can place uh, perhaps some loot in this one. And in front of the cave, I can place a big enemy or some enemies which I have to defeat to get the loot. But when we compare these two caves, oh, wait a minute. This got a material, but where is this red color? This got a uh, material has red color and we merge this. What happens here and that was the option which i showed you here what i used here is this is the base color of the stone and what uh let's see this one here out so this uh, this uh, color what you see this gray uh, let me click on this one i go to the right side of the details panel here at uh, the details panel here is the material and when i open up this material you see this material is actually only gray. There is nothing red. And what I used here was this vertex paint. <clears throat> I think I have covered this, but it's so easy. We can cover it here again. We can make a vertex paint, for example, on when we change one node of the material. <coughs> Let's do this fast for demonstration purpose. So you know what I'm going to do. So I go to material here. At the base color, you are going to add this one. So first of all, you call here this vertex color node, vertex color. And then you call this multiply here, like it says. And oops, multiply. And this one is that what you need. And here on B, you connect anything what goes here in, uh, in this place here. And if you do that, then you can paint on this um, material and exactly that I did there. That's why this rocket here looks a little bit red on top of the base material. And what vertex paint means or how we can do this is after you set up this material with this, uh, with this node here, um, then you can go here on top to select. Then you go to mesh paint and when you select this one, you have to select this first. Then you click paint. And now I can paint, for example, this mesh here green. And you see, <coughs> you can, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, you can paint now this, um, what you like to make it a little bit stand out, to make it any special or something like that. But 
The problem here is, let me show you something. I go back here. That's okay. Now we understand we can paint this. Here, I created the cave here with all the one one selected things, right? And now I say, hey, it's cool when I can paint here too. So I go here again to my bash paint. I go to paint. And now I have to select first what I want paint. The problem is it will select here only one, right? So why well, you can select it even one. First I have to go to select, that's why, okay. Here I select now this one and I can now switch here to paint on the left side. And now I can only paint this one, but I can't paint the other ones. And that's one reason why you want to make merge select like this one here, here. This one is all merged. Now I can paint what I want here. I go here first, select this mesh. This mesh is now com uh, all selected, complete. And then I switch to paint and now I can paint here, for example, all and make this cave here anything what I want, right? That's cool. That's cool stuff and so on. And here the designer, the level designer or any designer can create for you really cool stuff. But the problem is um, with this one here, you have paint afterwards. Uh, probably you don't want when you make a prototype, for example, you want, I don't know, create here while you are doing this kind of stuff and want take all the vertex color from this one. And that's the that was the option. Uh, what I say there, you have to activate there this one option. Let's select this, go back, uh, go here, delete this one fast, delete them, and let me select all this one again. Mm -hmm. Then down here. Oh yes, here. And now I have selected all again. I go to tools again. I go to merge actors. I want only one. And then you go here to the setting, and that's. Important that you read all other settings, of course, too. But in this video, we are talking only this one setting where you take over the vertex color too. And that was, where was it again? Here, bake vertex data to mesh, right? So that is that what we made, this coloring. And then after you selected this option, read the other things too. If you need to change something, depends on your needs. The level designer should definitely read this or the designer or who is doing the level stuff. If you are doing it, then read also it <laughs> to understand it more. So let's click merge. It creates again in a thing. SM cave, cave uh, free, for example, save it. And now this thing takes all the, let's get rid of this one here. Now I have K3 and I can place K3. Let's see, this is my K3 here. And you see the colors are there too. And the nice thing is this is now one mesh. I can select here again, go to um, mesh paint, go first to select, select. It's one mesh, go to paint, select the color which you want paint and make here something cool, a special cave or something like that, what you like. And it's really cool. So, and you understand uh, why is this so powerful, this merge uh, tool? It's not only powerful to create here randomly things what I created here, just with rocks and together clubbing to make a cave. Uh, the nice thing is now you can use this technique actually uh, in all kinds of stuff. Important use case is, for example, this one. Let me show this one. We go here to the marketplace and in marketplace, they offer sometimes called modular uh, assets. Let's see if we find we go here to the free section. I, get, I go here to free of the month. Uh, you can also go here. Uh, Epic Games content there. You will find something too. Let's go to this one here. And here, let's see. Uh, city game building, which is modular. Let's try to find anything modular. Let me change this one here to 60 or something like that. And uh, that takes too much time. Will I search and find anything here? Let me go here free to the month. I know there is one already. So something here free to the for this month. There you see they offer here some 
free things, cost nothing. During this month, I get all this kind of free. We'll use it all time to get free stuff. And here, this is very important. It says here modular template plaza for car, for example. Important is this word modular here. And why is this important? Modular means you will build this on your own, the city. For example, they show you here one city, but this, uh, uh, I mean this temple or what this is, not city here, it's a temple. Uh, this temple here, they uh, it is not one static mesh, but they give you all the parts to build it. Here you are, they give you the roofs, stones here and something like that. And here you have another picture what they give. And now you can build this kind of stuff. At start you would uh, think, well, why the hell give they me not this kind of stuff directly? It's much more convenient. And you are right. This thing is convenient because it's finished and you can use it. But this modular parts actually are more powerful. Why? question why they are more powerful than the finished one a very easy answer because this finished one you can't change you can change it but not so much like if you make it from scratch here you have absolute creativity to change it use other parts and anything you want the downside is this power needs work <laughs> so you must create all this work and that's why, and that's the job of a level designer. He should now get all these parts, combine something, make awesome temples. For example, he can make not this temple, even a better temple like this is shown here with other parts, adding to it, changing materials, adding anything he want. And that's why it's so powerful. So, and why I'm t telling you this, because after you made different kind of temples with this modular parts which you have here you can merge them to one static mesh which means this kind first you get this one you build something what you need then you go for example later you have this one then all you select all this kind of stuff merge it to one finished product and you have this then available to place it in directly in the next project or other places. In our case, first I have this part here. I created this one with one rock that is not so great. <laughs> and then I merged it, but now I have one product and I can place this now in my map anywhere where I want and make caves where I put some loot in, where I put some I don't know monsters in front which I have to fight. Let's see here. I fight my game. I need to put in some monsters which I have to fight. And here in, in this little cave, I put some loot which I can find, get points, goals, items, whatever, and then continue the gameplay and so on. And yeah, very powerful. And a level designer must learn this actually. That's very important. And if you like this kind of stuff, um, you can try this one, but it takes time. Yes, it's powerful. It takes time sometimes. For example, I prefer sometimes this one just because it's already finished. But if you want to make a unique game, you need to learn this modular things because then you make it really custom like you want it. But yeah, it costs time because that's a little bit work and that's normally the work of a level designer he should take the time make it perfect and i think with that said i stopped this video here i think you get the idea it is absolute powerful makes fun you see i created here some random stuff here out of the box and yeah if you have any questions or any complaints like all the time write it in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye.